So velocity is a rate of change, a rate at which the displacement changes over a time and it is having a direction. So velocity is displacement divided by time, whereas speed is distance divided by time. So when we compare speed and velocity, So when we compare speed and velocity, the definition of a speed it is distance travel in a unit time. And what about definition for velocity? It is displacement in unit time. The unit, the SI unit, the base unit, and the formula here, the formula is equals to distance divided by time for the speed and formula here for velocity is equals to displacement divided by time. The unit meter per second or you can write ms minus 1 that's the same thing the SI unit it can be other unit like kilometer per hour the SI unit is the system international unit is meter per second or ms minus 1 this one is a scalar quantity where velocity is a vector quantity and keep one thing in mind if the direction does not change for an object if direction of the motion does not change In that case, the distance will be equal to displacement or we can say the speed will be equal to velocity, like the magnitude. I'll give that example. If the direction is not changing, then the displacement and distance will be same and the speed and the velocity will have the same magnitudes. This is a comparison between speed and velocity so example an object is position at position a and it moved to position b so two meters it travel from a to b that is two meter so if i say what is the distance travel that is equals to two meter what is the displacement and it took example four seconds to travel from A to B. Then what about the displacement? That is also equal to two meters. But it's a vector quantity, so we should represent a direction. So it's two meter towards the right hand side. If I ask what is the speed of this object? That is the distance divided by time. So distance travel by the object equal to 2 and the time it took 4 seconds 
So two divided by four, that's equal to zero point five meter per second. So speed of this object is zero point five meter per second. What about velocity? That is displacement over time. The displacement in this question that is two meter towards right hand side. And divided by time that is equals to four. So two meter divided by four seconds. So it will come out as 0 0.5 meter per second. And along with the direction that is towards right hand side. So you can clearly see that when the object is moving in a straight line, the magnitude of the distance and displacement is same or the magnitude of speed and velocity is also same. Only thing addition with speed and displacement as they are a vector quantity, so there is a direction. But speed and distance are a scalar quantities, so they don't have any direction. Is it clear, this example? To everyone? The meaning of a velocity means displacement divided by time. How much displacement an object cover in a unit time that we call as a... Yeah, I can re-explain. Look, what is the definition of speed? Speed is distance travel in a unit time. What about velocity? It is the displacement cover in a unit time. So how much displacement is there? How to calculate displacement that already we discussed in the last session. So the displacement of an object divided by time we call that as a velocity. And distance which object cover in a unit time we call that as a speed. But if an object is moving in a straight line and it does not change the direction, in that case speed and velocities are the same, have the same magnitude. The only thing addition is that velocity is actually a displacement over time or distance travel in a unit time at a particular direction. So example, when you're traveling from one city to another and say the speedometer is showing 120 kilometer per hour. Okay. So if you, if you're telling someone that I was traveling with 120 kilometer per hour. So when you're only saying 120 kilometer per hour, so there's a magnitude and there's a unit. So when you have a magnitude and unit, what you call that, you call that as a speed. But if you tell something, someone that I was traveling with 120 km per hour in the direction of east. So what you are telling him, you are not telling him the speed, you are telling him the velocity. So basically a distance, displacement over time or distance travel in a unit time at a particular direction, we call that as a velocity. So velocity include a direction where speed does not include any direction. So the only difference is that they, the difference is in terms of calculation as well as direction. But if object is moving in a straight line, the only difference is that one include a direction and other does not include a direction. So another example, object is at position A, it moved to position B. So object is moving from position A to position B and it covered 15 meters. in five seconds the first thing part a what is the distance travel
So what is distance here? Travel by the object. That's equal to 15 meter. Then what about the displacement? What will be the displacement here? As the object is moving towards right, so it is 15 meter towards right hand side. Then what about speed? 15 meter, the length here, because the length is given 15 meters, so it is 15 meter towards right. What about speed? Speed is distance divided by time. So the distance was 15 and time it took 5. So 15 divided by 5, that is equals to 3 meter per second meter per second why meter per second because distance is given in meter and time is in second so it should be meter per second if distance was in kilometer and time is in hour then it will be kilometer per hour so it depend on the question that according to the question you will get the units then what about the velocity so what about the velocity velocity is displacement divided by time The displacement for this object is 15 meter towards right and the time it took 5 so 15 divided by 5 that's again equal to 3 meter per second but it should have a direction and what is the direction in that case because the direction of the displacement is to original displacement is towards right hand side so velocity is also towards right hand side. Is it clear this example? About the distance and displacement, speed and velocity. Now, if an object at position A it moves towards right hand side and then return back so it moves uh, 5 meter towards right and then it returned back 2 meters and the total time it took for this journey that is equals to 6 seconds Now the question, what is the distance traveled by this object? The distance traveled 7 meters, that's right, because total distance, first move 5 and then First it covers 5 meter and then 2 meters, so total distance is equal to 7. What about the displacement? So for a displacement, because it's a vector quantity, the direction is changing. So one of them you consider as right example, you consider as positive, so left will be negative. So if right hand side is plus 5 and left hand side is minus 3, so displacement will be plus 5 minus 3, that's equal to, sorry, minus 2, not 3. So plus 5 minus 2, that's equal to plus 3 meter. If plus 3 is there, plus is towards right, so that is towards right hand side. Is it clear now to everyone till this point? So I'll move on to the next part if it is clear.
what about the speed speed is distance divided by time so what is the distance travel by this object the distance travel is 7 and 7 meter and the time it took for whole journey it is 6 or so 5 divided uh, the 7 the total distance is 7 not 5 the total distance because this time interval is for the complete it's not only to reach from 1.1 it's this 6 second is for complete so 7 divided by 6 So that is equals to 1.16 meter per second. So speed is equals to 1.16 meter per second. But what about velocity? Velocity is a vector quantity. So displacement over time, displacement is plus 3 and time is total time is 6. So that is equals to 0 0.5 meter per second. And because the positive one we consider as right, so the, we should mention a direction is towards right hand side. So you can see here in this example the direction of an object change when direction change the speed and velocities are not same if the direction does not change object continue to move in a straight line without changing the direction in that case the speed and the velocities have the same values Now some questions related to the speed. I want uh, everyone to use screen annotation to state the answer, not the chat, screen annotation so it should be visible on my screen as well. And I will work out the right answer. I will tell, don't bother about maybe your answer might not be right, but try to answer. The hint for this question, a train begins the journey from a station and travels 60 kilometers. And it took 20 minutes. What is the average speed? The formula for average speed is the total distance Abdullah Khan, uh, use the screen annotation. So the formula to calculate the average speed, average speed is equal to total distance divided by total time so total distance divided by total time if you see the question the distance is given in kilometers and time is given in minutes so we have to convert the minutes into second and we have to convert the kilometer into meters because all the options are in meter per second so our final answer should be in meter per second so this time is given in minutes and this distance is given in kilometer so we have to use we have to convert this kilometer into meter how we convert kilometer into meters so we have to multiply by 1000 so that we can convert kilometer into meter and how to convert minutes into seconds so we have to multiply it by 60 and then after multiplying get, you will get the total distance and you will have the total time so what is the right answer a b c or d What about others?
you can circle or you can uh, just type the right answer so when you check the correct answer the correct answer is c but how c is the right answer because when you convert this is 60 kilometers you have to convert kilometers into meters so you have to multiply by 1000 so when you multiply by 1000 so it will come out as 60000 meters and time is in minutes you have to convert into seconds so you have to multiply by 60 20 multiplied by 60 6 multiplied by 2 that's 12 and 0 0 so it will be 1200 or 1200 and average speed is equals to total distance, which is 60,000 divided by 1200. So that will come out as 50 meter per second. Is it clear? To everyone? So the unit conversion is important. Now in this question, a student determines the average speed of a bubble rising through a liquid. So this bubble is moving upward, rising through a liquid. When the student start the stopwatch, the bubble is at position P. When he stop after two seconds, the bubble is at position Q. What is the speed of the bubble between P and Q? This number, this is 20, uh, 5.5, 6 and 7. So this, this is 25.7 centimeters. And this one, you don't, and all the answers are in centimeter per second. So we don't have to convert the unit. And this one is 18.1, 2 and 3. So this is 18.3 centimeters. So the question is, what is the average speed? Average speed is a distance travel divided by time taken. So what is the distance travel? What about others? And the total distance travel, first you will find the total distance travel. So when you check the options, the right answer, the right answer is B. Then how B is the right answer? Because if you check, what is the total distance travel? This distance. So it is from 18, 25.7 to 18.3. So when you subtract them, it will come out as 7.4 centimeter. That is a distance travel. And what is the time taken? It took two seconds. So when you're finding the average speed or speed, distance travel, divided by time taken that's equal to 2 so 7.4 divided by 2 equal to 3.7 centimeter per second so b is the right answer for this one is it clear Why to subtract? Because the bubble is rising up. So it was at the position of 25.7. And then it rises 
it took two seconds and it rises to new position and that is at the height of 18 like the distance or, or mark of 18.3 so what is the distance travel from point p to point q to know the distance travel from point p to point q we subtract because we want to find the distance travel from point p to point q without subtracting we cannot get the distance travel because we know the time from p to q so we should know a distance from p to q as well in this question a runners run 300 meters at an average speed of 7 meter per second uh, sorry 3 meter per second and then again 300 meters with an average speed of 6 meter per second. What is her average speed for total distance of 600 meter? The formula to calculate the average speed is equals to total distance divided by total time. So what is the average speed of the runner? As he runs 300 meters with 3 meter per second speed and then he runs another 300 meters with 6 meter per second speed. The total distance travel will be 600, that's right. But what is the total time? So total distance, first he runs 3 meter, then he runs 3 meters, so total distance travel will be 600. But what, what about the total time? So how we get the total time? First, we'll find the time to run first 300 meters. Because time is equals to distance divided by speed. So distance was 300. And speed is 3. So 300 divided by 3. So first, he took 100 seconds to run. For first 300 meters, he took 100 seconds. And then what about running the remaining 300 meters? For another 300 meter, the average speed was 6. So to run another 300 meter, so 600 divided by 6, sorry, 300 divided by 6, So he took 50 seconds to run the So he took 50 seconds to run the remaining 300. So total time he took 100 plus 50 that is equals to 150. So 600 divided by 150 what will be the average speed of this runner? So average speed will be 600 divided by 150 which is equals to 4 meter per second. So B will be the right answer. Is it clear to everyone? Because to get the average speed, we should know the total distance and we should know the total time to complete the journey. Another uh, similar question. A runner runs 400 meter with an average speed of four meter per second. She runs to 200 meters in 40 seconds. How long it will take to run the remaining 200? Like there's a race, a runner runs 400 meters. With an average speed of four meter per second, the speed for this average speed was four meter per second. She runs 200 meters in 40 seconds. So half of the race 200 meters she took 40 seconds the question is how much how long it will take to run the remaining half like the remaining 200 meters how much time she will take to complete that 
That is the question. So first a uh, hint is there using an average speed find the total time and total time minus the time to run the 200 meter like total time minus 40 second you will get the final answer. So hint is first find the total uh, find the total time and then total time minus 40 you will get the answer So what could be the right answer? A, B, C, or D. Hint is find the total time by using average speed is equals to total distance over total time. So this is the average speed that is given 4 meter per second and the total distance is 400 meters. So we will find the total time to run this. Average speed is equals to 4. The total distance it travel that is equals to 400 and total time for the journey we don't know so that's T. So when we solve this, so T will come out as 400. No, I'm not talking about first 200 meter. I'm saying when you use the formula for average speed, because they mention a runner runs 400 meters with an average speed of four meter per second. So the total race, the average speed for the total race is four meter per second. So using the average speed for the total race and the total distance, we'll find the total time. So total time will be equal to 400 divided by four. So total time is equals to 100 seconds. So this runner will take 100 seconds to complete this race. The total he took 100 seconds, the time he took 100 seconds to complete this race. Out of 100 seconds, first 200 meters, he, he took 40 seconds. So how much time he will take for remaining 200 meters? The so total time to complete the journey was 100 seconds and out of 100 seconds, first 200 meter it covered in 40 seconds. So remaining it will be 60 seconds. So 100 minus 40, so that is equals to 60 seconds. Is it clear? So A will be the right answer. Is it clear to everyone? A car travel along the route as shown P, Q, R, S, T. What is the average speed in kilometer per hour? Look, the distance is given in kilometer, but time is given in minutes. So you have to convert minutes into hours. And how you convert minutes into hours, it should be divided by 60. And then to get the average speed, that will be total distance divided by total time. So what's the right answer? Use the screen annotation to the total distance divided by total time. What about others?
So when you're finding the average speed total distance, what is the total distance? 10 plus 5, 15 plus 10, 25 plus 5. So 25 plus 5, that is equal to 30. So total distance is 30 kilometer. But what about total time for the journey? Because 30 minutes, but it should be in hours as all the options are in R. So it should be 30 divided by 60. That is equals to 0 0.5. So time is 0 0.5 hours. So 30 divided by 0 0.5, that is equals to 60 kilometer per hour. So it's equal to D. And there's also a, another way without Yes, Abdullah Sarfras. You have question. Sir, I did like 10, 10 plus 5 is equal to 15, and then another side 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. Mm -hmm. So 15 plus 15 will be. Oh, so sorry. Yeah. No, I did a mistake. Sorry. Okay. So you can also work out even there's also a simple way. Like example, in 30 minutes it covered 30 uh, kilometers. So in one hour, one hour means 60 minutes. So 60 minutes, how much it will cover? It will cover 60 kilometers. That's why 60 kilometer per hour. You can use that idea as well. So the right option was, the right answer was D. So these are some questions. Uh, today we discuss uh, speed, velocity, distance, displacement, scalar and vector and we did some questions related to average speed is it clear any question related to the class today any question or a doubt So I'll end the session and share this with you.